YouTube, welcome to Container Was A. If you're new to the channel, please make sure that you kindly subscribe. So today, guys, I'm basically going to be giving you guys uh, the answers for the first assignment of uh, criminal procedure, also known as CPR 3701. So I actually managed to get uh, good marks. I'm gonna show you at the end of the video how many percentage I got. Like I got like 86 percent. So make sure you watch the whole video, guys. So without wasting time, let's quickly go through the questions. So the first question uh, wants you uh, to choose the incorrect answer. So it says that the following statements uh, of criminal procedure does not regulate. So I've chosen option B, which says that the process of appeal and review. So that's the correct answer for that. And let, let me see which page I got it from. I got it from page five. Of your study guide so make sure you check that one out so question two um choose the correct um answer from the following statement so for question two i've chosen c as the correct answer it says that the process of restorative justice in involves a process that seeks uh, to avoid the invocation of the formal criminal sanctions so that's the correct answer for the second question so let's move on to question three choose the correct option for the following statements so for this one i've chosen uh the last one which which says that an appeal from a lower court can only be adjudicated upon a single judge so yeah guys basically they want to know um how many judges how many magistrates should be involved during the whole process of an appeal. So moving on to question four, uh, choose the incorrect option for the following statements. I've chosen the option D, which says that in general, um, the periodical uh, court has, a, has the same jurisdiction as a district court, which is false, guys. So I've went for D and yeah let's move on to the following question question five choose the correct option for the following statements so my correct answer is c which says that a regional court may try all crimes except high treason. so yeah guys question six choose the correct answer of the following options and so this one is kind of like tricky, but for me, I went with D, which says that a South African court has no jurisdiction to hear a charge of theft committed in a foreign state. So yeah, guys, um, if you committed a, a crime in a foreign country, South Africa has nothing to do with that. So question seven, choose the correct answer. I've, I went with D. A prosecution may be deemed wrongful where it is instituted uh, for a improper purpose. So yeah, guys, I went for D for question seven, question eight. Choose the incorrect answer of the following statements. Um, let's see, let's see. I went for E, which says which said that in South Africa, legal representation is not constitutionally entrenched right uh, so guys that's false so that's why uh it said that you must choose the incorrect answer so i've chosen e as an incorrect answer <laughs> question nine uh choose the correct answer of the following statements uh i went with c which says that uh, it may believe or su suspicion of a existence of certain facts sufficiently qualifies such belief or suspicion as one based on reasonable grounds. So when a police officer doesn't have a search warrant but be truly believes that uh, there are certain facts sufficient or a belief of suspicion uh, to search that uh, uh, specific house or if he believes that a crime is being committed and he doesn't have a search warrant to search he may he qualifies with reasonable grounds to search that he basically is justified to search that specific house so question 10 choose the incorrect answer 
so i went with e which says that uh, the principle of legality is not applicable to substantive and procedural uh, crime law, criminal law so question 11 question 11 says that choose the correct answer of the following statement so i say i chosen a which says that a summons is prepared by the prosecutor and issued by the clerk of the court so this one let's see this answer you could find it on page 13 of your study guide so question 12 choose the correct answer of the following statements i went with e which says that arrest may only be executed through a warrant so we know guys like you can't arrest the person without an arrest arrest of warrant so yeah warrant of arrest i meant to say question 13 choose the correct answer from the following statement um i went with b which says that arrest is only permissible if carried out through the authority of a warrant so this are kind of like two questions uh kind of like the same questions so yeah obviously you can't arrest the person without warrant of arrest so yeah guys you know the vibes question 14 choose the correct answer from the following statements i went with a which says that the need of the need for special powers of interrogation arises only in special circumstances such as when the accused is in custody so i went with that question 15 choose the incorrect answer from the following statements so i chose d because all of these options are correct like only a medical practitioner or district district surgeon is or a registered nurse may extract a blood sample so all of the following options are correct a police officer does not have the power to take a blood sample so yeah guys like basically it speaks for itself the incorrect option in the in the uh, in the above mentioned is d which says that none of the options is correct because all of the options are correct except for d so yeah question 16 choose the correct answer for all the following statements so i went with a which says that there is a general legal duty on every person to furnish information regarding the commission of an offense to the police so basically you know as as the community nowadays we take mob justice but we all have that legal duty as south african citizens to report a crime whenever we see one guys because a crime is an offense and we must protect south african law south african communities so yeah guys if you see a crime go to the nearest police station report it because guys you have a legal duty to do that so i went with a for that because the following options were not making sense at all so question 17 choose the incorrect answer uh from the following statements so the incorrect one for me was c which says that a document under legal professional privilege may be handed to the court without the consent of the client doesn't make sense for me guys so i basically chose c for question 17 so question 18 says that uh choose the incorrect answer from the following statements a search warrant may be authorized by so for me like um i went with a a prosecutor because the following uh the judges magistrates like they have to about like they are at a, a higher ranking so guys for me personally i know that uh, uh a captain or a sergeant uh, has the legal authority to authorize a search warrant but based on the above mentioned options i feel i feel as if a prosecutor they can't have they can't have the authority to do such a thing but a judge a magistrate they do have those higher rankings 
in the Department of Justice, so they could uh, authorize uh, a search warrant. So question 19, choose the correct answer for the following statement. Uh, so I went with B, which says that the police officials are only empowered to conduct search warrant set to conduct searches and seize uh, options with a warrant obviously you know police they can't pull up to your door and say hey we want to search you can have to pro provide a search warrant so you know the vibe so next question question 20 says that choose the incorrect answer of the following statement so i went with e which says that a bail uh, application in respect of a Schedule 6 offence must be considered by a magistrate's court. So Schedule 6 is kind of like a upper, upper offence, right? So the following options, I they, they weren't making sense. <laughs> Personally, they weren't making sense. Um, for example, B, an accused is entitled to apply for bail uh, like the following options were correct so e was not the one that was correct next question question 21 choose the incorrect answer for the for the following statements so i went with a which says that bail money must at the conclusion of the case uh, be refunded only to the accused so this one i mean like obviously when you read it out it doesn't make sense at all because imagine like you are in jail right and you you go and make an appearance at the court and the bail is granted let's say that uh uh they give you a bail of two thousand so who's gonna pay the two thousand because you are obviously in jail so obviously a relative, family member, friend, whatever, they're gonna have to go and to pay that specific those uh, that spe specific amount for you to be released. So obviously you can't pay yourself because you are basically you know um, behind the bars. So the bail money it doesn't like it won't be refunded to you back to you who were locked up. It has to go back to the person who paid for it. So, yeah, I hope it makes sense. Question 22. Choose the incorrect answer from the following statement. So, obviously, A is kind of like messed up because it says that only oral evidence is admissible in bail applications. So, that is totally uh, false. Like, you could submit documents as evidence and because the following options i mean they do make sense i was surprised to see hearsay evidence is received more readably readingly in a bail application than in a criminal trial so obviously yeah, we know that hearsay I, I never thought that hearsay evidence was admissible during bail uh, applications but here we go guys so the correct answer I said is a oral evidence is admissible in bail applications. It's false. Twenty three question twenty three choose the correct answer from the following statements. I went with a. A summary of a trial in a lower court is commenced by lodging an indictment in the clerk of the court. That's good. That's the correct answer for me. Then, yeah, guys, um, question 24, choose the correct answer. I went with A, section 84.1 of the Criminal Procedure Act specifically requires that all elements of an offense should be mentioned in the charge. Last question for today, question 25, choose the correct answer from the following statements. So I went with the last one, E, additional charges can be joined after the questioning of the accused or after the questioning of the accused has commenced so obviously like when the the police are kind of like interrogating you and you are clicking they ask you where were you the night can you provide an alibi for the night of the murder da, 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 da. obviously if your alibi doesn't check out and you crack you're gonna have to say, to be when you are confessing you're gonna you're gonna 
tell the police that I, I'm, I was doing this and that. I was, I, I manhandled this person in a certain way. I did this and that. So obviously you are providing information that the police were not uh, aware of and that may result in further charges. For example, like if you're going to tell them that before I killed a person, we were arguing, it was a heated moment, I slapped that person and eventually it led to the strangulation of that individual. So they're going to charge you for... There are basically two two charges for that, guys. For example, and you proceed to say that you you uh, took that person's bo- uh, body and you uh, put it in a car and lit the car up. So obviously, they, there's arson involved, there is strangulation involved, there's premeditated. It's gonna be a premeditated murder because you figure it out. You took the person, you killed them, you took them to to their car, you burned the car. You didn't report it to the police. Obviously, there are gonna be multiple of charges. So yeah, guys, like I was just uh, speak hypothetically speaking, making an example. I don't know how it actually goes down. So yeah, guys, I'm just you know giving my own opinion of a specific scenario on what possibilities could happen. So yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna quickly show you how much marks i got so if you're new to the channel kindly subscribe hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video check my previous videos if you want to make money on betway and yeah guys i always make a lot of money betway so my number is 0640244016 if you want to if you want me to help you make money with betway you know uh, check me out on WhatsApp. So let me quickly show you my WhatsApp. So yeah, guys, man, um, we need to work, guys. Like you see, NS Force is not paying us. We need to make extra cash. So contact me on WhatsApp if you want to make money. You know the vibes. So let me quickly submit and show you guys how much I got. So you yeah, guys submit. So yeah guys, um contact me on WhatsApp if you want to make more money and alles. So let's see how much I actually get. So the marks are not currently reflecting, but I'm gonna quickly uh show you guys my marks on the thumbnail. So yeah guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video guys. Until next time.